that way. Hi, welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today we are going to have a look at the Intense 72 block set and a few other things. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. This is my assistant. Hello. And we'll start with the other things first, I guess. We're just getting set up. I haven't seen what this looks like on the screen yet, so I am just going to load it up so I can have a look at what you're looking at. I think we're still zoomed in maybe a fraction too far. We are zoomed in awfully close. <laughs> so I will just zoom out just a pinch, hopefully. Oops, sorry if I'm making anyone seasick. Can't get oh well oh, too far sorry <laughs> oh dear I can't get this to work there we go is that better yeah it just looks the same just oh it's just crooked. we've got a little bit of extra room to work now that's all. So I am going to pop these to the side for a minute. I am sorry if you can hear next, ne next door's music. <laughs> Every time I try to film a live, they decide to have a party. Oh no, that was only probably going to stop the singing and I don't want to do that. I won't sing. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop these to the side for a minute. I've just got a couple of things to show you that... I got, I picked up from Spotlight. I did have a couple of extra things. Mrs. Assistant, uh, Mrs. Assistant, can you have a look in the top of the trolley, please? Oh, we're crooked. Firstly, I picked up another one of these dies for $2. <coughs> Excuse me. Where do you want the water? Hello. Hi, Melinda. Where do you want this? Where do you want the water? Just put it down there for a second until we're ready to I use it. I don't trust you with the water. But I'm not going over there. I don't trust you with the water. Yeah, in other words, you don't trust yourself with the water because you're the one going over there. So I picked up another one of those. That's for my giveaway box. $2 was a bargain. And then it? for some reason, Spotlight actually has some of their pa paper packs cheaper than Kaiser Craft does. So with 25% off there, they came out roughly of this material as well. I know, I was getting that out last. They um, came out about the same price as the 50% off. So I picked up Everlasting Scrap Studio and I also got the Scrap Studio Ephemera collectibles and the Everlasting collectibles. And then I also picked up the Let's Go travel ones. I didn't get the pad because I already have a lot of travel type pads, but I thought that would be a good augmentation to those travel pads because I don't have any collectibles to go with them. So I just grabbed them as well. So that was my mini spotlight haul. My mum was going there i wasn't going there I did. and then mum went there and i ended up putting back a lot of things because they didn't come down like i thought everything all the kaiser craft was 25 percent off but the dyes weren't coming down so i put them back good morning well for us is that good evening and good morning how'd that work just say hello hello <laughs> Hello, Lisa. <laughs> good morning to you. Oh, well, you can say good morning because it's good morning for Lisa and good evening for Melinda. True. 
So I went to, unfortunately, a lady's um, daughter had died and she was a crafter and she bought a lot of her stuff down from Sydney and was selling it. We are in Australia. Yes. So it's night time here. Yes. Oh, you know what that means? What? Well, my friends will be There's awake. another stamp. There's a stamp block. Is there really? Okay, yes. Okay, great. So um, she was having a garage sale to sell some stuff because unfortunately her daughter had died who was a crafter and so she offered it to people who were in the craft cottage that I'm with first and then today she was going to have a garage sale to sell the rest. So I got this set, this block which is from Paper Pleasure Plus proprietary limited it's called collage and it's a product of australia for some reason it says copyright oh okay i got it copyright betty beard but the e did not st um stamp properly or print properly and it kind of looked like buddy beard i had to read it a couple of times till i realized what it said <laughs> so i got that those stamps then i got uh, is this burlap, I think it's called? And because that's Hessian, because that's quite expensive here, for $3, I thought I would pick that up because that's quite cheap considering how much it costs for us to get it in Spotlight here. And then I got this gorgeous material. If I can get it out. Yeah, but we don't have time to play. It's got a beautiful texture on it. And then it has these lovely roses on it. So I grabbed that and I got all of these for the bargain price of $10. So that was just my little mini haul. I thought I would do that to stay on top of the stuff coming into the house. Hopefully not too much more. <laughs> um, I have a few hauls to edit, but I have been really good and not even opened these yet. <laughs> 24 hours and I haven't even taken the plastic off. That's a good thing. As long as I get to do it. Now, I did notice when I did take the lid off to take the photo Ooh. yesterday that they come in the foam now. So instead of all plastic like it has still has the plastic outer but it has a foam but that's a good thing a bit now to hold all the blocks so that's yeah a I good call, thing i call them chalk i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it just stack down there <laughs> gently <laughs> i remember Lindsay, the frugal crafter did a tutorial years ago on how to put cardboard and Tape. Are we still streaming? Yes, we're still streaming. She used cardboard and tape at the bottom of them to reinforce them to make them easier to get out, and then you have tape tabs. There you go, so my head don't get in it. Put it over there with the plastic rubbish. Miss. Up Oh, this one does have cardboard in it. There we go. I just have to put some Ooh. tape on the back of that and I'll be able to lift it out much easier. So we have the two lots of colours. Now, I already bought this block because it was a new block and I wasn't sure if it was going to be in this or not. It was a new colour a couple of years ago, so I don't know what colour it replaced in the 72 set. That looks like sea green. None of these have names on them. They only have numbers. They feel weird. But I also have the full set of pencils. Now one of the reasons I wanted the blocks as well is because I often use my pencils as paint. And I will take a brush directly to the paintbrush, but I'm always worried that I'm going to split my pencils. So, and I use them as 
pencils as well but I'm just worried that when I use them direct paintbrush direct to them or water direct to them then I'm going to split my pencils and that stresses me out because you know you don't want to pay a lot of money for something and then break a pencil I know you can go and buy another one and then when I was getting the scroller boxes for a few months I also got this paint the Derma Intense paint palette which has a couple of colors that are not in the regular color family so there's a couple of new colors there is mango dark plum mid ultramarine racing that. green which is very confusing because they've put racing green which is 1315 before 1300 which is teal green so it's in the wrong spot on there <laughs> Um, I think kiwi was a new colour and natural brown was a new can, colour. Can I choose which one's kiwi? Well, I think everybody can see which one's kiwi. Which one do you think it no, is? No, in the chalk. chalk. In these? Yeah. Because there is no kiwi. I know, but that that one would be that one. Well, that one would not be that one. That one's 1400. You can have a look and we'll see what the number is in there. Actually, I know what it is, but you can have a look in there and see what the no number means then. <laughs> yeah, all the pencils have the name stamped in them. You're missing two, three. No, I'm not. Oh, what? Okay. Well, that is weird. Any time I've used them. I'll that is very weird that some of my pencils are missing. No, that it's apple green. What was that one? 1400, yeah, that's apple. That does not look like apple green. <laughs> it's not apple green. So I have, this is going to be fun because we need some space, so I might have to move some of this stuff. That means, no, that means I need the chairs back that I'm sitting on so I'm not going to put one down here. That's the wrong pad. I have used the Montmartre 180 GSM to rule up some things. Are you swatching? <laughs> so these ones where they have the names don't put anything in them they are actually huh? the paint palette ones it says palette they're the paint palette colors oh, that's confusing. There's mango. That's and you only need to swatch on one side of the line why is there two lines, why is there a line because on the sides? other line i can just do the menu of okay they're not easy to get out i'm, no, I'm gonna get them out i'm gonna have to get them out Okay, so on the first side, you're just going to lay a bit of colour down and you have to be very careful with them because they break very easily. I know. So I've had them at school. And you can easily get them on the other sides too, I think. Okay. This is a... Someday I want to come to Australia. Um... I would say it's a good country most of the time. <laughs> I would say come in the spring, cause it, cause that's not really the coldest or the hottest part. Well, it depends on what state Lisa mm. lives in. Do you live in a warm state or a cold state? No, Lisa. Yes, we have winter. <laughs> yes, so it goes. It even the... snows in some places. So it goes summer, autumn, winter, spring. Our seasons are opposite to yours. So yes. Michigan is a pretty cool state, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> it really does snow in some places. We have... Well, we have Parish Sharks. Small mountains that get some snow on them. Parish Sharks. Threadbow. Yeah, lots of places. It doesn't snow where I live, though. It does get yeah. quite cool. We it had does. some um, zero degree days, or is what's what's zero for you? Is that I think it's thirty two degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, no blizzards for us. <laughs> no snow days. <laughs> we used to have hot weather days where if it was oh. over forty degrees, then Celsius then children would go home from school because it was too hot. But then the government got really strict on pushing everyone to work. So mums couldn't stay at home with their kids anymore. So now they can't send kids home because all the mums have to work. So now they're putting air conditioning in all the schools. 
Yeah, which is happening slowly because they buy and sell premium in this park and it's a nice thing. Well, they can't do every room at once. The Miss Assistant School is getting... Don't play with the water. You're supposed to be swatching. So they're doing like this or... Yes, but just make sure you do the end that doesn't have the number. Do that end, please. Um, yeah, so a lot of schools are now getting Is that air color? conditioning. I don't know. See if it's a lot, if it's enough colour. I'm just going to do a little bit more. <laughs> that popped. That wasn't enough colour. I know that's not a very good water brush, but I can't I can't find my water brushes. I was trying to look for my Tim Holtz fine detailer and I just cannot find it. It's not a good paintbrush. Ooh. Well, you could um use a real one. Okay. I was only going to get the water. Yes, you need to go and get the water. What? Like yeah, I think that one's going to be a little bit too big. Oh, oh. oh did you hear that crack, Mum? That was my head. <laughs> You're cracking up. Unfortunately. No, so I've got a chamois. chamois, just a regular old chamois that I've chopped up this one's actually an alley special i think i don't know i got one from daiso and i absolutely love the one i've got from daiso it's really Is super thick um, oh, no. no that's the other half of that one oh. <laughs> the daiso one is blue i think so, I but i have them everywhere so <laughs> do i still need to pour a little bit more in there yes so you probably need to make sure Paintbrush is nice and wet. Oh, it was wet. Oh, I don't make it too watery. It's alright. Don't stress. No. What we should do is turn the blocks over. Like that. Is that yes. better? Now rinse the. Rinse the. Brush. Brush. Done. And do the other side. It's killing me not to see. I made this one a bit too bloody. Oh, there. Looks fine to me. Okay. They are very vibrant. Exactly. You forget how vibrant they are until you use look at me again. I haven't used my pencils for a little while. Which one am I doing? Do I next to Oh. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> oh, two, one, oh, writing upside down is not good. Okay, so put that there and I'll put this one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not firing on all cylinders today. This one. Yeah. You have a good day too. You too. I skip that one. So what are we up to? Mango is palette. I'm so confused. <laughs> I just need this one. 0240. Oh, I've done something wrong. 0240. Yeah, but where's 0230? Which one's that? Oh. oh. That's that one. Oh, we'll see what's wrong in a minute. <laughs> Maybe I just turned it upside down and didn't put it down. What one's this one? Oh. Am I putting this one here? Yeah. Okay. 
because I messed it up. <laughs> so, we got what have you been up to today, Melinda? Your ASMR. I haven't uploaded a stream. So what one's that one? That one. Yes. That one, I'm guessing. Yes, but you're supposed to wet all of these. What? You're supposed to take just water to all of these. Doesn't matter. Keep going. I'm confused now. That's all right. That's easy to confuse you. You didn't explain it properly. A little less next time. mean by the like what do you mean by I was meant to wet them? Just use plain water. To wet so them. use that to clean off the thing and off the paintbrush to make sure it's clean. Yes. And then okay. And then you just activate them. Okay. Can I just do that last? Don't you think I'll oh, just do that one for the next few seconds. I'm confused by some of the ways they've done stuff. Oh no, that's not good. I haven't tried that yet. What? But I filmed four videos this week and one of them took forever and it's all wrong. I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> because I kept changing my mind of what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can find it. I won't say anything. Do not say anything. Do not well, nothing was working. And I had to change what I was doing. This one looks like oranges. So I'll give you a sneak peek. <laughs> I'm going to have to make it again. But this is the card that I made. But... It took me about six hours of filming to make it, and I'm not editing that. I'm going to have to redo it and do it faster so that it doesn't take me as long to edit. It's probably, I just decided it's probably going to be much better for my mental health if I refilm it than try and edit a six hour video. That's basically the length of my school time. I don't know, this one's not printed properly, so we're show just going to go with it me, being me. 400. The this next one, one is 410, so that's got to be 400. That is 400. And broken already. Well, that happens when they get made sometimes. Kitty, do you really got to do that while we're filming? She has a bad habit of biting her fingernails. Is that my bad habit? Or nails, whatever. <laughs> that's my habit of biting my nails. Seriously. Good thing I'm probably never going to monetize this stream because if you guys can hear what's happening then we've got music happening in the background oh no, I was thinking of a different tune but okay I have a different tune that probably almost everyone has heard you have heard it and you don't like it At least I have the pencils to know what they're named. Where are the pencils? You could be saying what they're called. <laughs> have you got the pencils? Uh-huh. Yes, I need a bit more water. No, it's a bit more. What's in your court? Okay. 
it's the train that kept seeing the lab. Once. I don't know. You're allowed to see your videos. <laughs> oh, good try. This one. Where are the pencils? Oh, don't even. There you go. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, I don't because it's cooler at night. I like to film at night so I can have the air conditioner and the fan off because oh, the lights generate a lot of heat. But every night <laughs> we have to listen to music. Are those pencils that you were talking about? Are here? No, I put a little bit too much in there. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, let's get these pencils back in the right spots. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, which one am I up to? I don't know. Which one are you up to? This one. I have to pull it close to me. So, can I put them the other way around? Can I flip them the other way around? Okay, why are these going the wrong way? I don't know. Should be my problem. No. <laughs> Cheeky. Extra nut. Okay. Now they're back into. So, what color, what number are you doing now? 400. Yeah, looks like cherry. Am I correct? Poppy. Oh, poppy. You can see it's right next to poppy. Okay. <laughs> cherry is coming up. Okay. Can I skip that one? I think. Can you just. No. No, I just picked that one, that one. Oh. So I'm doing this one. Are you sure you could pick them up and check the number? No, because 400 was the one that was the broken one, and that's the broken one. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so 0410 is oh, no. hot red. I can't work. Okay. And when you get to the end of that, you got to start up this end. Okay, I've got to flip it back down. Which one's cherry? Cherry is what number are you doing? Five hundred. 500 is chili. Chili cherry, chili skittles. You're getting close though. The numbers on these are not very good. <laughs> you can barely basically see them. I did see somebody that took Avery labels and stuck Avery labels on all their ink tents so they knew what colours they were. If she wants to. Because it's a medium. It's the pending. Is this one cherry? No, this um, one. What number are you up to? 0520. Oh, 0520 oh, we don't have in here. So this is a block only colour. Because we go from 10 to 30. Interesting. So I don't know what colour that is. The next colour is crimson. That one. What if that one's crimson? Seven two oh. Oh, Unless I am missing the colour somewhere, which is always quite possible. Mm-hmm. Oh. Cherry. Now I'm going the wrong way. What number are you up to? Zero five three oh, that's crimson. Doesn't look like crimson. Where's where's cherry? Next. Is it really? That doesn't oh, look like seven, cherry. Three, oh. oh the outside does sometimes. Oh, 
It looks like dark cherry. Yeah, that looks like cherry. But just not the red, red cherry that people associate with cherries. It looks more like real cherries. <laughs> What's next? I'm up to that one. Shiraz. Can I turn it around? Um, For me? Yep. And when I get halfway, I have to turn it back around. It's a pretty colour. Red purple says my favourite colour. I should have grabbed some ash paper to see what what some of them look like on ash paper. What's that? The really expensive watercolour paper. Oh, what colour is this one? It's 0700 Fuchsia. Reminds me of something. Reminds me of a flower. Fuchsias. <laughs> Fuchsias are flowers. I have the twelve set and I loved them and when these went on sale at my local art shop, I told my fiance and he and I went halves in them and he, for, as my Valentine's Day present. So I was very lucky. <laughs> my Valentine's present was a bear. If I'm not just wrong. So what comes after fuchsia? The 710 deep rose you just did, and the next one is thistle. Leaves. You know how you do the leaves with the how you glue down and brush up? No. Oh, I'm down there. Okay. Yeah, you're there. <laughs> I'm looking at where you're up to instead of where I'm up to. Well, at least they have eclectic taste next door. <laughs> we had some 60s, now we've got some wrap. I've always really loved Derwent products. Dope. Mischief. Kitty. Sorry about that whistle. At least I can still whistle. It's usually, you know, not that bad when cats scratch themselves, but not my cat. She will scratch herself till she bleeds. So we have to pick her up on it. Mine is very, my fiancé is very supportive, <laughs> so I'm lucky. He has a drawer full of craft stuff that I've bought from the UK that when I go over there I need to sort out. Oh, hang on, what colours have we done? We've done thistle, 720, 730 was dusky purple, 740 is mauve. Mauve? Mauve. 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 I need to put it around now. Oh shit. No. Which one it's going up. I wrote down the numbers from the website, so I'm hoping they're right. <laughs> so what comes after mauve? Dark purple. 0750? Yep. That's the lights. I know, unfortunately. The next one is deep violet. Can I get a bit more colour? 
a little bit of that. That's good. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even plan the next colour for this one. I didn't even plan for this to finish right on the right spot. That just worked out very well. Let's flip. Oh, so you're doing on the right side. No, no. So what was that? Um, 0760 oh, was deep violet, and now we are doing violet. I thought there'd be lilac in here. I even had my fiance doing some of one of the online craft oh. card crafts Tim Holtz classes with me. He made a few little things. I make a lot of things, especially brushes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're addicted to brushes. Yes. I'm not drinking any Polar brushes. I'm not feeling well. I'm taking a go home and make mom cut and paint brushes. Don't do that so you can avoid it. At least I have a few videos in the vault to edit now because I was trying to clean up a bunch of stuff so I filmed a lot of stuff so I could put it away and then I put all my paper kits away that I got from Kaiser Craft oh, and missed a couple. So 0800 was violet, 810 is lagoon. Oh I like this one. This is peacock blue. This one. 820. Peacock blue. Doesn't look like it. No, but it's called peacock blue. And I think... This is... No. Is this... I've done a few of the online card classes ones. I did watercolour, which ignited my love of watercolour. I did the beginner and the intermediate watercolour. Watercolour is the most hardest medium to work with. And if you can work with watercolour, you can work with any, apparently. Yes. Okay. That's what I've heard, anyway. Um, there are, like the die-cutting one, I don't think I bought that one because most of what's in the die-cutting one that I know about is actually easy to find on YouTube. But the paper layering one, I found really informative how to use pattern papers on your cards um what other ones have i done mm -mm. i've done a few clean and simple ones i kind of swing between doing clean and simple cards to medium sort of cards like that one i just showed you and then all out fussy cards as well so I, I don't really stick to one style. Oh, we're on the next page now. <laughs> 0840 is iron blue. And you didn't even say 0830. 0830, navy blue. Ah, so we've done navy and blue. That's my school colour. That's most of the school colours in there. Iron blue. And next is deep this blue. Color. I um, I did have a lot left to edit, but then I did hormus to try and get most of the haul videos out of the vault, and I have still got a few flip throughs. I've probably got about six to edit. I've got a couple of flip throughs and a couple of hauls that I want to get out because I don't want to have so many haul videos in the vault. Really, <laughs> I want to get back to making projects. If you sign up to the online card class website, they um, 
often email out $5 off class codes and things like that. Or they'll have $5 off every class. I haven't done creative chemistry three yet. I've only done one and two. I think Amanda's done all three. Can you hear the music, Melinda? We're being serenaded by Casey Chambers right now. Oh, 900 was... 850 is... Deep blue, 900 is iris, 1000 is bright blue, 1100 is deep indigo. That's a very intense colour. I think because this is the cheap Montmartre paper too, it does wash them out just a little bit and it's not bright white. This is a cream paper. So if it was on white paper, I think it would be a bit brighter. Like that, I'll not like on that one because your white's diced. Let's see if you like the next one. Me? Yeah. Uh-oh, I'm scared now. What colour is it? Sea blue. Not sea green. <laughs> I knew you were going to like that blue. <laughs> and Miss Assistant's saying she best not sing because she likes Casey Chambers. <laughs> no, I like really. Casey Chambers. Huh? Not, no, not really. Well, I like Casey Chambers. Yeah, oh, let's change it off. <laughs> I had enough of that one. So we're going to go on to the next page. Yeah, okay, well what you need to do is very carefully... Oh, it into my mouth. Let's stick that back under there. Put that on the floor somewhere so it doesn't oh. get damaged. Well, don't sit on them because then I'll have to hurt you. I'll have them up. on $140 worth of oh. ink tents. I can <laughs> you broke them, you bought them. I can easily pay for that. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, You've I can. You've earned $40 so far. 20 of that you've got to save. 10 of that you need to pay for. Actually, no, I haven't. I just put it all straight away. So it's all together. Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, we're here. This is the one I believe I oh no, that's no, oh no, something's wrong. There's an extra colour in there somewhere. What? No, I missed the colour. What colour? Okay, hang on. Hang on, we've got a problem. Of course they now put the Dixie chips on, so we're gonna see your final blessing. Ow! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. What are you doing now? Oh no. I need one stuff that. Yes. That's going to be so 12, 10. And we're going to have to do 12, 15, which is the next colour down here. I just hurt myself. Because I missed a number. <laughs> I was only ruling this up about an hour ago, and so, I heard or an hour and a half ago, I was rushing. So let me put 12, 15 down here. They've gone country tonight. Don't sing, don't sing, don't sing, don't sing. Okay. I'm trying so hard not to sing. So hard. My little brain. 12.20. That'll get check. That'll teach me not checking the numbers. But because I hadn't opened the intense yet i couldn't check the numbers as i was doing them either oh this one's stuck so 12 10 is hang on 12 10 where is it 12 10 uh, 12 10 is dark aquamarine 12 15 we don't have in a pencil which has to go down there oh. 
I'm so, I'm trying not to sing. <laughs> trying not to. I'm curious now what what colour they oh. took out of the 72 box set to put the 1215 in. Because like it was supposed to be a limited edition colour. Mm -hmm. 1500. Now, 1220 is green aquamarine. All right. <laughs> oh, something. Hey, it's mud. <laughs> He's on the wrong account. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Oh, this one's... We've had a bit of an incident here. This one's been chopped off. There's no num... Well, we have Two. one, three... I'm up to... Three, but no O. They chopped it off. Oh. So 1330 is Mallard Green. You're painting a duck. This is painful. Why? Songs. This is painful. <laughs> they're playing good music tonight. This is so painful. It's weird though because they go from playing country to playing hip hop. Yeah, they can. Is there a CD in there? I what? don't know. Can you check for me, please? Well, your next one is 1300, which is teal green. So, probably no CD. This one looks like sea green, but that's brushos. I didn't know you. <laughs> I didn't know you planned to make it tonight. <laughs> if you'd have asked, I would have woken you. So what comes after mallard green? Oh no! No, thirteen hundred. No. Which one? Iron green, 1310. I think I'm doing that one. I put the wrong... I meant to do that one, but I did that one. Okay, hang on. Let's have a look. Is that... 1320. Yep. Yes. Racing green, I think. I missed... 13, I, no, 1320 is... Ionian green. I missed the colour. Hang on. I'll yep. do this one. So that's Ionian green, and then oh. we need to go back to... Oh, no. Iron green. Iron God, this one's done. I'm happy. Well, let's hope they put an abstract song on that we don't know the, on next. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, that's pretty. That one, that one. The one she just painted? Oh, my hip seems to stop cracking a lot. You're cracking up. Oh, I nearly dropped one. Don't drop. Don't drop it. She's probably on about me dropping it. But there she is. So, what number are you doing? One, three, three, three. Vivid green. Yes, I can attest to that being very vivid. I was confused. It's all good. I do not know what they're doing and I don't want to know what they're doing. <laughs> the less I know, the better. <laughs> okay, can you remember what the next colour is? Huh? Can you remember what the next colour is? Apple green. Yeah. Looks more like a Kermit green. It looks like Kermit. It's Kermit green, not apple green. Well, henceforth it shall forever be named Kermit green. I have a mission gold paint that I have dubbed Kermit green. No, 
So 1500 is field green. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I got that one out. That one's not as stuck as the other. 1700? Yes, 1700. I'm checking the numbers now because I keep making so many mistakes. Which one are up to, that one? Oops. I haven't wet this one. So I put too much water 15, on you. 1510 is beach green, but not B E A C H. It's B E E C H, as in beach tree, not as in go to the beach. Okay, 1710. <laughs> numbers next one five two zero that is hooker's green <laughs> you are such a teenager i am a teenager <laughs> why are you flipping your hair i'm not Fifteen thirty is felt green. You felt like being green that day. I thought they'll have a grass green. Oh, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Oh, my little 80s child wants to dance with somebody. No, I don't. <laughs> That's what they're playing now. Okay, 1540 is light olive. Ugh. Olive. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that is 1900. We're good. That looks like an interesting colour. I think there's only one thing in their line that I super want to get now. I think that's the graphitints. Have you seen them, Melinda? The graphitint pencils. So pretty. They're another aqua pe pencil. Oh, aqua. But they're graphite aqua and the colours are really earthy. Too much water. <sighs> oh, Fifteen fifty was light olive and a spring green you just did. And you're doing 1560 now, and I need to go to the next one. Oh, oh dear. I lost the screen. Okay. I touched the mouse accidentally. So 1560 was a fern. And 1600, which is the next one, is leaf green, apparently. It does not look like leaf green. Mm. Not, not the bright green leaf greens, but there's a lot of leaves that have that kind of tone to them. That's going to be a dark colour. Seventeen hundred. I'm up to the poo green. Well, that's mustard. You, it doesn't look like you clean your brush. I did. Okay. Go down. Go into the big water. 
tell me which are condiments to go down. Down. Top, 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 top. <laughs> To admit, mustard's not one of my favourite colours. Oh, now we'll start the oven. Oh, I know how I'm going to do this. Oh dear, she's going to confuse me. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's alright. Because you're starting down there and I've got to start off here. You're way in front of me now. Okay, what colour is next? Mm, poop, poop. Seventeen ten. Poop. Amber. Poop. Well, that one looks very opaque if you don't use a lighter wash. What if someone don't want anything? <laughs> Shall you go next door and ask them? I just put the wrap back on because I don't know that. Depending who they put on. Well, yeah, like if they put M&M on, I'm sure you're going to know that. Some of them. Or Cardi. The name of her songs. <laughs> or the latest record. Oh, now the poop time. 1720 is tea. No, tan. Sorry, tan. Tan, are you serious? That's not what tan looks like. The tan looks like a tan. It does have a lot of green in it, doesn't it? It looks like old paper. Like that part there looks like old paper. I think I know why the art shop near me has these on half price. Um, Derwent rebranded everything and got artists to um, redo their tins. I don't know if anyone watches La Cree Fine Art, she did the new tins. This is an older tin. She did the new tins. She did some really good artwork for them. So I guess they're trying to move the older tins now so that the shops will have the newer tins. Miss Assistant is singing What's Love Got To Do With It <laughs> with Attitude. Oh, what was 1730? Oh. Oak. 1740 is Saddle Brown. Make sure the brush is really wet. That's that's the only part that I know. More like a poopy maker. So 1800, which is the next one, is Baked Earth. Hey, I learned about that the 1800s and the 1700s. I stamped a few things. Probably won't get to all of them, but this hey. is just regular cardstock. This is the cardstock I use for most of my cards. Then this is just the Montmartre again, and I've just stamped with archival black, and then embossed in clear and embossed in black. Hey, yours is lagging a lot. Yeah, it always lags. Mine doesn't. Mine's on time. I don't know how you can be watching the video and then and you're playing it and it just on my screen it just seems to get laggier and laggier. No water.
let's do this. What colour didn't we like? It was that one, wasn't it? No, that's... While Miss Assistant is filling that out, what one did she just do? Oh, I'm way behind, aren't I? Yeah. So she's done 1740 was Saddle Brown, 1800 was Baked Earth, 1900 was Willow. She's about to do Red Oxide. And I'm about to take this. Uh oh, I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm about to take this. Yeah. What colour was it again? Uh, 1720. Which is 10. No, I wanted 1700. No, 10's good. I don't like the 10 more than I don't like the mustard. The mustard's alright. So one of the things that people do with these is shave them to make... Oh, oops. no, that's getting everywhere. Okay, well I'm going to do it towards me instead. Okay. I'm yeah. They shave them gently to make a mist. So I'm going to do that while me, Miss Assistant, keeps going on with what she's doing. Uh. I chose to do a colour that I'm not that huge a fan of. I know you can replace the blocks, but I'm going to start with a colour I'm not that huge a fan of. <laughs> Ew. Yes, it is. No, that's not it. It's a yucky colour. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I'm up to, up to here. I'm not very good at shaving the block. You could get me to do it and you can do this, but I'm not giving up this job. I don't have the grate and shake and I don't want to use one of my kitchen graters to um, grate these because then I can't use it in the kitchen anymore. Why? Just what are they playing now? Oh, <laughs> time of your life. <laughs> Just why? Just lucky. I'm playing with songs that I know. Games are called one of the songs that I don't know. Don't hit in the head. I think this would definitely work better with the grate and shake because this is, even though I'm shaving it, it's not very fine. The shavings are making the, put down, no, put down the, under the camera so Maud can see it. So mum is putting the shavings in there to try and make a mess, but she's using a disgusting colour so yeah, yeah, it's not a great <laughs> yeah, I'm starting with a disgusting colour because I don't have the grate and shake and I don't want to waste a colour that I know I'm going to use a lot of. Oh, I'm going to use a lot of. Although disgusting colours have their place, especially in nature. Things. Yes, I know. Like trees, what am I up to? Oh, me. Oh, that went well. All of that just went all over the table rather than into the bottle. Yes, a mist. Yes, what? It's a mist. Don't go over the paper. Oh, son of a gun. I just totally missed. Oh, good mud. Oh, good mud. I'm going to put this around again. Oh, and I haven't been telling everybody what colours you've been using. Exactly. So where were, you, where were we up to before? I don't know. I don't... 1910 was red oxide. That's that one. Nineteen twenty is Madder Brown. Nineteen thirty is Dark Chocolate. Did you say Maddie or Madder? Madder. Madder. Okay. I and two thousand is Bark. Two thousand and ten is Sepia. Black. 
Mr. Yes, so does Miss Assistant. Doesn't get any easier. Yeah, because you're going to church. Good luck me getting you down by any other time. <laughs> Alexis has hit her teenage years early. Are you sure you're up to black? What's that black? 2020. Hey, that's next year. 2010, we did sepia. Indian ink. Cosma. The next one is Chinese ink. Blue Griffey. This way I get blue Griffey from. I should have done this into a little container and then tried to get it into the skin. Blue Griffey ink. I graduate high school 2021. Why can't I just do it like that? Okay, that should be plenty now. Yeah. I've got seven left. After I get what I missed off the table. I'm going to have to clean my table well because there's going to be this baby poop colour all over it. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. <laughs> now they're playing Karma Chameleon. Why? Why? Hey, right, because I ain't getting trouble if I sing. Mm -hmm. What's the next call, mother? You won't get in trouble if you sing. Um, 2100 Charcoal Grey. It's a green guy. What goes exactly on the time? <laughs> Good timing. Can you hear it, Mr. Mod? Okay, we'll see what that's like. This looks like I may have blue. put way too much in there, but I don't know. I've never made the mist with the blocks before because I only had 12 blocks and I didn't want to waste them. <laughs> Not navy. Oh, it looks more navy blue. So that is Payne's Grey 2110. Yep, that's Payne's Grey. He said nope. Oh, oh goodness. Dabbing the water off. That's why you're having troubles. <laughs> Supposed to check it's clean and then make sure it's still got water on it. Are you going to answer Melinda? I will after I do these ones. <laughs> I'm so tempted to sing. Oh, neutral grey. Yeah. Not too bad. 2200 is ink black. Oh, you get an extra colour in the pencils, that one that we didn't have the name of before, because in the in the pencils you get the outliner as part of your 72. So that's why there's an extra colour in here that I don't know the name of, apart from the one that doesn't have a pencil. You might need to grab the other water to make sure that's 100% clean. The next one's white. I know. Um, I'll just pick a that. colour. Pick a colour. Any colour. Okay, I'm going to pick a colour in a second. Okay, what's on the intro now, Sunday? I know. Please, baby. I need you to pick any colour. I know, I know what colour I'm going to pick. But white. I know, but white. can be from the other palette. No, I want one of the blues, but they're all on the other one. Can I, can I just do this white one then? 
switches. Um, yeah, it. but you won't, you can use them, but you won't get as good a detail as if you use a sharp pencil. Oh. Hello, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Um, so I have the pencils, but one of the things I would do with the pencils, if I can head. find one, you can see this one, the pencil is coloured on the wood, because I would take my water pen and pick colour up off it, but you're not supposed to do that because you can split your pencil and you're not supposed to dip them in water because you can put, split your pencil. Now, if there's water on the page, you can use them and then the barrel's not going to get as wet. I'm going to go flip the page again. I can't exactly flip the page. I'm just going to do that. Um, I want this one. You want that one? Is in this tin or the mm, other tin? No, it's in this one. Yep, that's in the other tin. They're a water soluble ink. Okay. So they're shaped like a pastel. Apparently they break like a pastel, but they are an ink. So when you wet them, they become very vibrant. I want you to paint that, please. Okay, we're going to let that dry for a second. I'm just going to grab one of my spare pieces of paper I have over oh. here. Wait, and just try the mist we made. Get them from? I bought mine from Art House Direct. They are on sale there at the moment for $140 for 72 but they do oh. have smaller sets. Oh. What? But I'm just trying the mist. That's a very faint. And I don't know why I just did that. Because I actually got Miss Assistant to get me stencils. Mm -hmm. So because that's not a very dark colour to start with, it probably wasn't a good one to try. Oh. Art House Direct. Oh, yeah, so it's funny. comparable to buying them on eBay at the moment we want but the prices on eBay don't actually have the sales tax in them yet so it's um actually cheaper for, than getting them on eBay at the moment and the prices on Amazon weren't that good I checked <laughs> yes you can eat some so I've got a stencil to mist it through a stencil, and this colour is actually a pretty good colour to mist through the stencil. Mm. And where's that piece of paper I just used a second ago? Mm. I have a 72 set. The other half, if Miss Assistant will show us, mm -hmm. is behind her she was swatching all the colors <coughs> I may have over misted that one a little bit but that's all right it's all a learning curve so this is the first layer with all the pinks and purples and reds and yellows and blues some blues And then we have the second layer down here. And this is all the colour swatches that we just did so far. Your fingers are the only ones that are wet. Oops. No, it's dry. No, okay. Then, um, all we've done so far is just swatch them straight from the blocks with a paintbrush. Yes. 
and then on the side this is the color scribbled down because it gives a different effect when it's scribbled down and wet if you press harder when you scribble them down it's harder to get them to activate and you don't get rid of all the texture so just depends if you want the texture in your artwork whether you go straight from the block or straight to the paper but after you've done quite a few layers you can still go straight to the paper and you won't get as much of the texture I like that because you've already layered underneath I'm it. Sure that's the color that I gave you. That color so that, that color. was through the stencil with that color that we're calling baby poop, even though it is tan. <laughs> yep, sure did. They, I used a palette knife, which I made a huge mess with. I should have done it into something else and then tipped it into my little mister bottle. Well, you should have just given it to me even though I was still doing that. Yeah. But do they do have something called a grate and shake. I don't know how much they are, though, and I don't know if you can get a cheaper version of it or not. But I don't have that yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mom. Baby poop. Okay, do you want to I got, no. put that back in, please? I need to put this one here. It's dry. Can I put them the other way around now? Or are we keeping the names facing down? I also have the full pencil set. The names go upside down with the number okay. towards the middle. Like that. I also have the full pencil set and <laughs> the reason I like to have the blocks as well is because you can work on bigger surfaces with the blocks for one thing you can have fine detail with the pencils but I don't like using my pencils from I don't like using the water brush on my pencils or dipping them in water because I'm always terrified I'm going to split the battles and being expensive pencils I don't want to do that I did get a sub to scrawler box so I also have the palette because I was lucky enough that my birthday month was the, the intense palette mango and there are a couple of extra colors in that and yes I got this from a cheapy store this is just the Montmartre this is the 180 GSM I also I love this I love the 300 GSM for practicing for making cards rather than spending buku bucks on the good watercolour paper all the time, I get this. But Art House Direct also sells Ardo paper, which is rebranded Fabriano. And it is really cheap. They have, it's I think it's $12 or something like that for 100% cotton paper. This one sells price on So I have some of that too. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, you need to activate all of these. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> I'm a pain. Or do you want to do that? Oh, I'm just, uh, I think I used all my paper. I need to get another, I need to get some more paper. Alright. Oh, so something I saw... Jane Davenport do is she would sketch an outline I'm just going to do a circle because I'm not very good at this so I'm just going to draw a circle with the block and then I'm going to find a cheap paintbrush I you just have to activate them with water that's oh. it and then go down like how I do that yes that's all oh. you have to do like that. Yeah, see how it's left the texture now because we scribbled directly onto the paper. So where did I put the... So I've got some Audi primer, which is just the same as saying gesso. I really like the... Montmartre one I have tried a bunch like Kmart paper is horrible here Target paper is horrible it's 300 GSM so it's good for other things but it is not 
<laughs> it is not good for watercolours by far. It just sucks the colour straight in. This can, you can get really good results on it. When I did, I did the online card classes and I did their watercolour one and it worked really well for all the techniques I had to do on there, especially the 300 GSM one. So what Jane Davenport does is she oh, puts her ink tents that. down and then she uses gesso and moves the colour around with that. And I should have actually, hang on, I need a palette knife. <laughs> Where's my palette knife? Bye, bye. Oh, here's one. I need to not double dip into the... Is that the stuff that I paint Mary's head to do? Yes, that is the stuff. <laughs> that sounds really weird. <laughs> she did not the paint foam. her grandmother's head the foam with gesso. Heads. <laughs> the foam heads. You're welcome. I love these. But, yeah, this is a technique I saw Jane Davenport do and she pulls the colour in. With the gesso and then fades it out into nothing but as i said i'm not very good at it <laughs> well, i can try if i'm doing this i'm just hanging grab that it's a way to make the colors a little less vibrant into pastels and things i just haven't watched her videos much in a very long time i just remember doing this technique once and absolutely loving it in my art journal which i'm there's not 100 percent sure where it is because i haven't used it for ages right there. <laughs> there's a mossy right there they look like the mossy that doesn't look like a mossy it looks like a baby bug so the lighter you press with these blocks the less texture it leaves but the heavier you press the more texture you're going to be have left behind it's harder to scrub away the color i can't use that because you put the door oh, and i only use the other one let's try another one i can't let's use, try this again i can't i use don't the, think this paintbrush is big enough let's get a bigger paintbrush but she can still use it. No, because you put that in there, and that's different things I'm using. <laughs> oh, look. We'll go and empty that water and use. Oh, no. I will in a second if I do this one. Okay, so I'm going to pick up a bigger amount of the gesso. Now it's cold down here. I just think I'm using brushes that are too small for this. <laughs> I'll be back. Take it easy. Okay. So I've got a more circular looking circle this time. I went back and thought I'd picked up two of each of the gesso and the primer and I have ended up with four jars of one and two of the other. So I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is, but I liked both of them. So I hope they have them again because they are really good quality. I hate the Montmartre gesso. It's compared to this, it's very plasticky. So if anyone wants to see this technique properly, Jane Davenport has an intense video where she shows the technique. I'm just she draws a girl and she draws her on some rocks and things and it and it's really pretty. Why don't you link the video down below in the bio? Oh, well if I can up. find it I will. But I can't do up it right there, now. Up down over there. Like in the next video, just mention it. Um, what else? What? I have the most annoying song that's stuck in my head. So that gives a really cool texture and effect. Uh, I like that. That's fun.
Now let's get rid of the dressing. Mm. I put a little too much out in the end. <laughs> now, I really, really love this poppy stamp and I haven't used it yet. I keep forgetting I own it. It's the Ken Oliver Poppy Flower die and I bought the matching die and stamp. I wanted more of his stamps, the mandalas and stuff, but I didn't end up buying them. Can we swap the paint for the water now? So I can have the clear water up here, please. <laughs> You're lucky your dad just changed this one. So where are the pencils? What number is Poppy? I'm going to have to write all the, all the co colour names on them and find out what the colour names are the ones that are new are. Poppy 400. I have a so I'm going to try to start with oh, popping wet colour straight on. So I don't know what any of these colours are. So I'm just going to pick it up with the paintbrush and pray I get nice colours. So I want to start with a darker one and just pop it in at the bottom and it is travelling. Yay. It's probably the one that you wanted to. Oh no, I'm up for baby poo. So this is... Oh, I can't read the number. What one? 500. Is that the one that you wanted? And I've put it back in there upside... Put it in there upside down to start with. So I did well. So there's no point me doing the white one because we all know what the white one's going to look like. White's going to be white. And then I'm going to take a lighter colour and dab that in the top. Oops. I cannot paint and hold the thing at the same time. Oh dear. Let me sneeze again. Three, one, two, three. It didn't sneeze. Let's see if I can move some stuff. Oh, you're done up to there. I can put these down. Okay, I'm going to try going dry now. And I'm going to put this colour at the bottom. And then I'm going to pick that colour again and start from the top and just start blending it down into it. Now, they aren't supposed to move when you reactivate them, but if you put a lot of pigment down, they will st still move. And a lot of what I've heard says that if you heat set them, they move less. So you can layer over the top. Don't we need the heat gun at some point? Quite possible. That sound is just stuck in my head. I'm just going to add a little touch of colour. Oh, that's your oh, side. Then water it out. This is your side. So I can dab from the sides, but then you just colour them smoothly. Darling. Not enough pigment. So this time what I'm just doing is putting down the pigment and then pulling it out.
Yeah, Let's try this dark color over here. And I've washed the brush out and I'm filling it in just by pulling the color. That's a pretty color. I'm just using some, these are some very cheap Princeton brushes I got when they were on clearance. I don't even know if they're watercolour ones. I think I pulled a little bit too much colour out of the middle, so I'm just going to put a bit of concentrated colour back in. I want to put some of that concentrated colour Almost finished. where there should be Stop shadows. The white one. <laughs> I can't see the white one. Oh, look, there's a red left in there. Too much water. Sorry. I'm just going to fill it with water again and drop this dark one in there. I'm having this song on so I don't have the song in my head. I'm done. That's sad. I'm doing a little helping hand to move down to the end. There's a lot of embossing in there that's making it harder to move. Okay. You're done? I'll see okay, that so part that's part. the second tray, and this is the side that was watercolored. This is with the water brush, this is the side that was rubbed on first and then washed out, and you are not done. No, like that one. Oh. <laughs> Maybe there's less on that one than there is on the other. I'm trying to think of what other techniques there are. Okay, I'm going to bring this back over. So I'll wait until after you do whatever you're doing so I've got to use the top row. Ow. So I'm just going to lay down some colour and activate it all. Am I on screen? Can everybody see me? No they can't because this is in the way. Okay so I'm just activating this colour. Everyone can see you now. I'm going to make sure it's good and wet. Okay, I'm not going to start singing under the sea. <laughs> Thanks so And then I'm going to take this pink block over here and just go straight into the wet to show that we can do wet into wet and mix new colours. Oh, I broke your brush again. I just pull it down instead of doing it the other way because it's like a little I'm going to put down a puddle of water and That's do basically dirty. a line of colour into that. You can see that it's spreading out and softening the edges of the line. A little. Another thing that you can do is take two colours with a flat brush and place them together. Well, basically two complementary do... colours, not two that are going to make black or make brown <laughs> if you don't want brown. But you can actually use a flat brush and go over the two of them and make uh three tone colour so you'll have the yellow on one side, the blue on the other side, and then the colours will mix in the middle to make green. And so when you paint with it you'll have a stripe of colour. And I'm trying to find my You can do that with brushes. highlighters as well. I'm trying to find my paint brushes. 
Happy Donut with you Kylie Have you done it with highlighters? No. Oh, it's cool. It's fun. I'll start to push a lot on Monday. Then that. Well, I have a new giant paintbrush, but <laughs> I have that <laughs> one. But I don't have a smaller one. I don't know where my flat brush is. Oh, it's in my paint roll. That's where it is. Where is it? I don't. I think it's on the table somewhere. I'm not going to find that. <laughs> okay, this is a brand new paintbrush. So I'm just going to wash the sizing out of it. And then I will try and stay to one side. Oh, dang it. Look at oh. <laughs> That's really pretty. Can people see that? Uh, just. Yep. <laughs> you can pull it up now. Oh, no. Hang on. So that was done by taking two blocks and pulling colour off them at the same time. I didn't mix them too much. Blue. If you if you do mix them a lot, you end up making your block really dirty, and I'm not ready to make my blocks really dirty yet. <laughs> Make it purple, you, even though you don't need to, but make it purple. You being bossy. Yeah. Um, Please. We'll have to try and pick two reds that are going to work together. I, I don't know my colour theory well enough for this. Oh, goodness. This will be funny. I've okay, so I've grabbed a red and a blue. Cause... I could say grab. Miss Assistant cool. would like me to make a red and a blue. You've already mixed the colours on the block. No. There's a nice purple in the middle. God damn it. Uh, see what I like. As well as I thought it would. You already mixed the colours. Go clean your block now. That red doesn't go well with the blue. But that's a really fun technique to use. You've got a clean block. I do got to clean my block. I don't know what to do for my English today. Maybe not. I can follow on from my last story, but I don't have to go through this stuff when you read this story. I don't know what to do for your assignment either. You just didn't explain it to us. So it wasn't. Because she gave it to, well, I had it since the starting up period. But then she didn't explain it to the rest of us. She didn't explain it to me. So I didn't get it. Um, so can you give me a We made a spray. Okay, this is dry now, so what I'm going to do is grab the white. I was going to do it on the page Miss Assistant is working on, but she is, oh, the other page, but she is working on that. So I'm just going to take the white. And I think this is magic. I watched Lacree Fine Art using the white block. And I really liked how this turned out. So I'm just going to get rid of this brush because it's too big and it's in the way. Of me. Now where did I put the little brush is the question. I'll just grab this little brush. That's all right. So you can activate it straight on your work. But what she recommends doing, and I'll grab the block again. I don't know why I just put it away. Mm -hmm. Is making a wash with it. And I probably should have made sure it was dry first. I didn't want to pull the heat tool out and blast everyone. 
it's too hot. So I'll just let that dry. Because the white really does add a lot of highlight to things. I just haven't let everything dry enough to be painting over the top of it, really. I'm impatient. <laughs> but I don't want to blast everyone. These. What? What, these ones? The ones no, no, no. These. Oh. oh. They're, to make, they're to make washes in. Yes. Now this box has five new colours in it. You can do five. that. Five. And they are mango, dark plum, mid ultramarine. I almost finished. Or is it six colours? I'm confused. They've got know. racing green, kiwi, and natural brown. So I think it's six colours, maybe. Is there an 860? No. Yeah, so there's six new colours in the Inktense palette that are not available in blocks or pencils, which is just weird. I don't know why they did that. My arm hurts. Have you had enough of doing that? I'm tired. <laughs> So as I said, if I'd have heat dried this, it wouldn't have pulled up the colour so much underneath. I just was impatient and didn't want to blast everyone. Didn't want to blast everyone with the heat tool. Who said that? Lacree does a full tutorial on using the ink tents blocks to do a turtle and she just adds layer after layer which I haven't got the hang of yet and she uses the white just to pick up all the highlights and things like that and it's amazing as you can see it's drying quite opaque where I put it down thick but the paint was still a little bit wet so it's picked up some of the color underneath and I didn't heat set it heat setting it apparently just makes a world of difference And for my curiosity, more than anything else, well, you, nobody can see what you're doing. I want to swatch the... You can do that. Okay, I only want to do, do the that. mango. I only want to do the mango. I and want to one. swatch the new colours to see Ow. what they look like because in context with the other colours that are here. So there's... What are you doing? Are you doing it? Or yeah. Because I haven't actually seen how these colours fit into the rest of the range. I already have a swatch for my Where's pencils. Mango, mango uh, is the second one. You can do the first one. I want to do the mango and the puffy red one. Okay, and so we've got sun yellow. Way too much colour then. I lost there you go. Oh, ow. And mango is the new colour. I know it's this one. It's just slightly dirty. It has a hair in it. Cat hair. Poppy red is the same red. Can I just do the nails first? I just do a lot of this colour. Can you see my head? Nope. Well, I don't know. I can't see the screen. <laughs> my screen has frozen. I'm coming at you. So dark 
palm, I believe, is that. We can always test it. Yeah, we can test it. Oh yes, we can test it. Mm. Yeah, they give you this, and then the colours aren't in this order, or is it? Oh yes, yes they are in that order. Sorry, I'm holding it up the wrong way, so I'm getting confused. <laughs> I'm going to do that one. You can do the next the one. The mid. That one. No, the, the one after that. That one. There you go. I'm taking You're a pain in my bottom. I know. I'm your daughter. So nice. Mid is a new colour no, as no, well. No, no. Wait, wait. Is that on the mid one? Yes. Or is that the bright blue? This is the mid. Okay. And it's a little bit subdued, so I think it has a little bit of ox gall or something in it. Bright blue. I'm going to have to pick up a little bit more water. Bright blue. Okay, bright blue is a new colour? No, that's an old colour. Bright blue. Okay. Are you done now? What's on? Mm, that is teal green. I want to do that one, but you can do the rest because I don't want to do that one. <laughs> oh, but no. Okay, if I turn it up the right way, I might not get myself into trouble because I'm getting confused because it's upside down. So, racing green is the first one. They're in a weird order. So that is a new colour. Can I read this? Teal green is, is the second one. Which is that one? And we have that colour. No, I should have done that colour. And then kiwi is a new colour. Why is that one Kermit? That's very Kermit. They're both Kermit, but that one's more Kermit. Can you call that one Kermit? Okay, kiwi can be Kermit. An apple can be apple. 1705 burnt yellow ochre. That is a new colour. So I want to see how that fits in here. No, see, I think it would be closer to that colour. Natural brown 1940. So this is a new colour too. And then the last one is ink black. We already have that one. Oops, that one went to the right. I can tell they did. So that is dry now. I can tell the difference when you when I get it off the block and when it, you put it straight down. With the white from a far distance. I would paint things like this by pulling the colour off the paint brushes with uh, pulling the colour off the pencils with a paintbrush instead of using the blocks. But as I said, I worry about that damaging my blocks, so I you mean pencils. Uh, damaging my pencils. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's late. So that's oh, yeah. one of the reasons why I wanted the blocks so I could use them as watercolour paints and then the other reason is is there's a few techniques I like to do I want to get something that I can grate them with because I really like where do, oh, we've got this big piece of paper oh, actually let's just flip this over I am just going to lay some water down oh that's dirty where's that big brush I had mm -hmm. Doesn't matter that that's dirty. I'm just going to lay some water down. Oh, is it hurt? Now, if I had the shaker, this would be finer, but I don't have the shaker, so it's not going to be very fine. But I. Can we do it? 
can shake some colour into there mm. and it will spread out a little bit. A little. I brush those, but they instant. And I can take different colours and shave, whoops, into there, but I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I need to watch what I'm doing. Yes, you do. And because this paper was so thin, I didn't put a huge amount of water down, so I can then spray them. To get it's them to brushes. move a little bit and then I could have painted a color under that already or I could have I could put that down heat set it so it's dry and then paint a wash of another color over the top of it if I wanted to you can make some funky backgrounds that way what else I'm trying to think what else I can't think of all the techniques that I know You can use them on fabric, especially if you heat set them. Heat setting is the main thing. If you heat set them, then you can use them on fabric. After after you've painted it, you can heat set it. Um, anything else? Does anybody know any other techniques? Yeah, they are very versatile <laughs> and fun. I like playing with them. And comparatively speaking, compared to... A watercolour paint, for example, a tube of watercolour paint is going to cost you, for a good quality watercolour paint here, is going to cost you a minimum of $10 for a 5ml tube. That's so one of these is probably comparable to a 5ml tube and you've got 72 of these. So you can do lots of techniques, make lots of extra colours by mixing colours, do all sorts of fun, fun things with them and they're a comparatively cheap medium compared to say a water a one watercolor pan or one watercolor tube which probably will be helpful for my assessment that Which being I, said i still like my watercolor tubes <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but having different too. mediums to play with and experiment is fun so we'll just have another look at all the colors oh yeah i still got to ask them to say number the pen uh, the Blocks don't have the colours on them. The only thing that actually has the colours on them are the pencils. The only reason I know what colours the pans are is because it came on this little strip. I don't even think the pans have what they are on them. Sure. Just, oh. I think I've just broken one out, didn't I? They are not stuck in. I need to get some gum arabic underneath them trying to pull one pan out I don't think anywhere on the pan it doesn't have the color on it anywhere on the pan so without having that little thing there and keeping them in the correct order you wouldn't know what not, what colors they are so this is the yellows reds purples blues some blues then we've got the blue greens greens and earth tones and one blue green one spot because somebody <laughs> forgot to put it somewhere yeah yeah <laughs> so that is uh hopefully a good look at the intense colors i really love them don't forget this is ivory paper you are going to get much vi more vibrant results on white paper I just use this one because it is a cheap one I can get at my local cheap store and rather than wasting all my good paper that I want for artworks. Anyway, thank you all for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, -bye.